Okay, everything let's clarify the situation. There has been a humming expectation that XRP will achieve a monumental milestone since day one. Not only was $110,000 a possibility, but it was also a given and an estimate. That forecast just received a massive boost. We are discussing none other than Larry Fink of BlackRock endorsing this image, and he's not just talking about a pitiful $10,000 per share. Whoa, he's making it sound like a basic must. Before our leap, let's dive right into the core of today's topic. BAS, I need a little help. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button, bash that button, and ring that notification. Hold on, things will get better. Bell, BlackRock, and Vanguard Titans of Finance are now giving XRP serious consideration for their international transactions. There are murmurs regarding BlackRock. Releasing an ETF with an XRP focus, yes, you heard correctly, but there's more. Hold on. Not content to stop there, Larry Fink is now examining the enormous $30 trillion real estate sector, and he has identified the key to its future, you guessed it. The XRP ledger is prepared to tokenize everything, and with an astounding 1.2 quadrillion from traders and international swaps through ISDA, the association is configured to go via the XRP. We're not just talking about $10,000 per XRP here, ledger and ripple, that's kids play. We could be looking at a value explosion of up to $60,000. Now, let's get started. Into the following section. Larry thinks BlackRock just released another explosive he's not just speaking, he's acting as though Ripple and its digital asset, XRP, are about to do something very significant. Tokenizing every aspect, and in the following, we have a clip that is a component of our video. That will draw attention. We won't have to wait much longer because Larry seems to be confirming BlackRock's approach toward an XRP ETF. Here's the clip you've been waiting for. Let me do this. Waiting for the introduction of the Bitcoin ETF is an example of how we're legitimizing it and increasing safety. Are you going to do another ETF? An XRP may be interesting. ETF you have Ether out there, I know that. Consider XRP. Could you respond to that? You don't want me to, and I can't. Yes, I do. Cannot all be in harmony. Give me the WP, please. I'm grateful. We've seen a swirl of abnormalities in the cryptocurrency world in recent days, especially with this XRP image on the well-known exchange Crypto.com, whose value surged to an astounding $43,000. This is not a one-time occurrence. It fits into a larger pattern of XRP's value unexpectedly rising. Recall how just last week, we talked about a $7,000 XRP problem at a major exchange. Now, it's Crypto.com's time, and it appears that these abrupt increases in the price of XRP are becoming commonplace on several exchanges. However, let's shift our focus entirely to something else, something I discovered through extensive research that is equally fascinating but unrelated to BlackRock or the general surge in the price of XRP. We're going to talk about Gary Gendler, the well-known SEC chairman who succeeded Clinton Jake as the majority of you are probably aware, Gendler constantly rates XRP as a security. This is the interesting part. Robert M. Gensler, Gary's brother, is an astonishingly similar brother who is the same age as Gary. Robert holds a crucial role in T-Price. As its vice president during this time when you discover that TR pricing isn't just any investing organization if you look a bit closer. It is one of the biggest investors, with a significant holding in XRP as well as Bitcoin and Ethereum. Thus, this has an interesting connection. Gary Gendler, however, was at the steering wheel. XRP is still classified as a security by the SEC. His twin brother is a major shareholder in an investing company that holds a sizable position in XRP and other cryptocurrencies. It's an exciting position. That brings up a lot of issues. Regarding the complex forces at work in the realm of cryptocurrency investments and regulations, which leads us to the intriguing possibility that the vice president of T. Rowe Price, Robert Gentler, has unique knowledge of how much potential XRP has, much like Bitcoin. 
and Ethereum. This theory has become more popular. When you take into account the company's large holdings in these three cryptocurrencies while the SEC openly denies any insider trading, several studies and papers have indicated differently these studies which center on insider trading and market manipulation, have frequently highlighted dubious SEC operations. It seems that a trend is emerging. SEC officials appear to be informing their family members about which digital assets could soon be freed from the classification as securities. These relatives then make early investments in these assets, and when the asset is formally deemed to be not a security, its value soars, enabling these friends and family members to profit handsomely from buying low and selling high in this situation. Let's examine the probability that Robert and Jindler had inside information about the SEC's possible defeat in a lawsuit against XRP from his brother Gary Jindler. Such information might imply that Congress will push for a settlement. Between the SEC and Ripple Labs now is the perfect time for astute investors to purchase XRP, but as the price of the cryptocurrency increases, money is being directed toward Bitcoin, Ethereum, and, most importantly, XRP, adding another chapter to this story. The cryptocurrency community is abuzz with talk of XRP possibly rising to $10,000, $20,000, or even $60,000, especially from analysts who have been bullish on the asset, such as Jack the Ripper forecasts a sharp increase in value that could eclipse $589. Despite being audacious, this forecast highlights the increased interest and conjecture surrounding XRP and its potential in the cryptocurrency space. Wall Street is vying for a piece of the profitable XRP pie, and based on my intuition, the first significant move will come through an XRP ETF. However, let's delve deeper into this development. We have some fascinating news from Crypt Basics. The revelation from an analyst that JP Morgan has made a big move into XRP has caught the interest of a former Ripple director. This revelation made me wonder, and it's something we need to investigate more. The narrative proceeds as follows, an influential person in the cryptocurrency world stated that Ben Armstrong was formerly connected to the BitBoy cryptocurrency business which sparked a backlash from an ex-Ripple director after it was claimed that JP Morgan had invested in XRP. According to him, JP Morgan possesses an impressive 7.5 million XRP tokens. Armstrong continues by stating that this transaction represented roughly 7.5% of JP Morgan's overall fortune, but to put that into perspective, the math in this claim looks wildly incorrect. 7.5 million XRP, valued at 4.46 million currently, is not even close to representing 7.5% of JP Morgan's wealth, given that JP Morgan's total assets, as of the 2023 valuation, total a staggering $3.89 trillion. Despite his emphasis, Armstrong's calculation doesn't exactly add up. The significance of J.P. Morgan's alleged plan, which, in his opinion, suggests that they have been quietly hoarding XRP, establishes J.P. Morgan as a rising powerhouse in the cryptocurrency space. Thus, we have a story about Wall Street titans like J.P. Morgan possibly entering the cryptocurrency space, particularly with XRP. Although the math may not add up to 100%, it's still worth considering that big banks are getting involved in the space. It suggests a broader pattern of traditional finance and the digital currency realm interacting, with some intriguing developments centered around XRP. Armstrong's audacious remarks have also brought attention to BlackRock. The giant of asset management is heating things with assertions that BlackRock has just received shareholder approval. Armstrong didn't stop there. He's also enlarging as the Bitcoin ETF is currently considering XRP for its investment portfolio. The fact that these financial behemoths are investing in XRP despite the ongoing legal drama between Ripple and the US SEC suggests a strong conviction in XRP's bright future. Consider if it is true that accumulation is on the rise, which would imply that major financial entities are placing bets on XRP in the middle of its frequent roller coaster, so here's the point. People, the adoption of cryptocurrency by Wall Street was always inevitable. I've been discussing this for more than five years, but at the time, it seemed like a pipe dream. But now that Bitcoin is leading the way, 
who would have thought XRP wouldn't follow suit? That it's not a matter of if but when is something I would have to respectfully disagree with, but the particular situation in Armstrong's painting may not be the complete picture, but, get this, the story becomes more complex in response to Armstrong's shocking assertions. Former Ripple director Matt Hamilton added a healthy dose of skepticism, questioning the authenticity of such a purchase as well as the real impact it would have on XRP considering the token's enormous Hamilton pulls out the calculator after supply with 100 billion XRP in circulation. 7.5 million XRP represents just 0.075% of what we're talking about. Even Hamilton joked, I'm as for Armstrong's assertions that this is a cutesy allusion to the frequently fantastical nature of Armstrong's pronouncements, implying you'd almost need a satirical lens to make sense of it all, I suppose this is a parody account. Since the math speaks for itself, let's analyze it. Hamilton nailed the numbers for himself. Highlighting the major errors in the initial assertion the numbers simply don't match up, as obvious as day, but this got me wondering, where did this crazy narrative even start? Fortunately, after some research, I struck the big time and discovered the source, which is really juicy, so there you have it in the intricate and frequently unclear it's imperative to remain as astute and perceptive as ever in the field of crypto reporting. Please let me guide you through these murky waters with the truth, I'm here to help. Recall that I am not a certified financial advisor and that the video material is only meant for your amusement. Objectives I always advise viewers that before making any financial decisions, they should do their own research and speak with experts. Many thanks if you liked the video, please tune in. Would you kindly give it a thumbs up and remember to click the subscribe button as well? Ensure that the notifications are turned on. To receive notifications as soon as I upload new content. I'm looking forward to catching up with you in the next video.